Hello, everyone. Today we're taking a look at Runner 2. Bitra presents Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien, the sequel to Bit Trip Runner. Starring, of course, Commander Video, who's been seen in a few different indie games since then. The Welkin Wonderland. Runner 2 is a challenging game, but it is also the chillest of games. If you get stressed when you're playing Runner 2, you're doing it all wrong. I've gotten to the third world in Runner 2, but let's just start off at the beginning so you can see how Commander Video begins his running adventure. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Commander Video plummets back through the layers of a once-known reality and into the soft, bulbous bosom of a new one. Unsure of the outcome, but retaining optimism, our hero is guided to his skyward perch and thus begins his stay in the Welkin Wonderland. As it said, Commander Video is in a new reality, a much more polygonal, highly detailed reality than he used to be in. The previous game, of course, was a very low-res, very retro-looking game. And there are retro levels in this one, but for the most part, Commander Video is a fully realized polygon character. The only thing that we really need to do now is jump over these little guys. They don't mean any harm, though. They're just standing, they're just standing in the way. They don't know Commander Video's running through. Why would they? And that living mountain in the background, he knows. Look at that knowing smile. Jumping over that checkpoint. And I regretted it. But that's all right. It's okay in Runner 2. Nothing gets us down. Nothing gets the commander down. And that Welkin in the background? He's still smiling. He'll be smiling long after you're dead. And I do mean you. Think of all the things he's seen. We might want to take the checkpoint this time. I mean that... That living... Whoop, I missed that gold. That living pickle went to so much trouble to set up that checkpoint. We could just jump over it. You know, ignore it. We would get bonus points if we did that. It's a little rude, though, I think. Oh, now we've got the rainbow. That That's Commander Video's glow. And when he got the rainbow, everything's gonna be just fine. Runner 2 wants you to know that you've made it an amazing accomplishment. And that even, you know, no matter how poorly your day may have gone, no matter how aggravating it might have been, Runner 2 is there for you when you come home. The goal, if you want to have a goal, if you need one, is basically to complete all these levels and get new abilities as we go, unlock new characters, new costumes, and additional levels. It says we, we don't have to collect the gold. It's more fun if we try, but you don't have to. Just do what you want. But there is gold we can collect, and if we get them all, and we get all of the red cross icons, we will get a perfect. And that feels nice, right? Oh, you know... Sometimes talking and playing Runner 2 just doesn't mix. I just be quiet for a little bit so we can just hear the music. Oh, and bask in Runner 2.
see. Isn't everything better now? The Welkin in the back agrees. He knows all, yet knows it's not really important that he knows all. I got extra points for jumping the checkpoint, but we really didn't need them. It's nice to have, but it's just fine without them. You can compare your scores on the leaderboards if you want. It's something you can do. Or not. Really. But I should try to get it perfect, if just to show you what happens when you do. As you can see, or rather hear, the game is rather rhythm-based. And I would say the rhythm does not really, and at least for me, it doesn't really affect how I play the game, but rather it emphasizes, it accentuates the things I do, since the items I collect and the moves I make are in time, are have the same beat as the music. Oh, it's a good thing I got that checkpoint, right? That pickle is so happy. He's got the right idea. Oh, I missed that. I'll get a perfect on one of these, just to show it. Just to show. See? The Welkin in the background, he knows. You might be having problems, but you can just look at him and his smile, and he says, yeah, I know. But try not to worry about it. It'll pass. It'll be okay. And the level's completed. As you can see, the game is just about running, jumping, enjoying the feeling of motion, as Commander Video likes to do. You can never stop running when you're Commander Video. We don't actually press anything to run, he just runs by himself. He has his own mind in that way, though we can tell him to jump and do other actions besides running. But he's always running, always moving forward. You have to, you have to be like Commander Video, you have to think like him. You're always moving, always making progress, no matter who's trying to stop you, no matter who's in your way. Just jump right over them and keep on going. It doesn't matter what they're doing, it doesn't matter what they think. Because you hear the music in your head. Oh. A bonus retro level. There's a bunch of them in the game. Where Commander Video, just for a short time, gets to go back to a pixelated dimension. I had already won that one before, so my number isn't going to go up. That's fine. That just means even more for me to find. Do you really want it to end? Do you really want to get all maximum levels? Find all of them? Because at that point, there would mean there's nothing left. Nothing new. Nothing more to look for in BitTrip Runner. And wouldn't that be a shame? I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, actually. There's three difficulties. But you don't have to play on the hardest difficulty. It's just something I like to try. It increases the amount of enemies in your way. And look at this. We're just sliding right over all of our problems. Sliding under. I guess you could slide over. But that's a little harder. In the background is a Burger Mouth restaurant. I could really go for a Burger Mouth brand burger. And 
there are alternate pathways we can take. I took the green one, which will end up being the easier one. Sometimes pathways will result in alternate exits, which allow you to get to other levels. And isn't that fun? It's a fun thing. I already got that costume, and I'm going to slide right on through. And this is what happens when you get a perfect. When you get a perfect, Commander Video's reward is he gets shot out of a cannon. I didn't hit the bullseye. If I did, I would have gotten a perfect plus. Instead, just a normal old perfect. And that's just fine. Those exclamation points, though, indicate that I've already gotten a perfect and perfect plus on that level, so there really was no point to getting another one. Just to see it, though. This one's red. It means I've beaten it, but I have not gotten the perfect. So as we go into each level, Commander Video will get additional moves, additional maneuvers, things he can do, and the obstacles will continue to increase. They become more difficult, but that's all right. It's just another challenge for Commander Video to jump and slide his way through and run. Never stop running. Whenever you get one of the red crosses, you do go up a mode and the music gets filled out. So of course, you always want to grab those when you can. Oh, that's a new costume. I did not get that yet. So something new for me. It feels really good when you get those crosses and the music gets additional layers to it. The game just feels really good in general. It's something I really like to play. And doesn't even, like I said, it doesn't even matter if I win or lose or get it perfect. I just kind of like playing it. You can dance to get additional points if you have enough space to do it. Oh, almost hit that bullseye. I'll get it at some point. But, I think that's enough of the Welkin Wonderland. We've seen a few levels of this. Let's take a look at the world I'm currently on. The Supernature. The Supernature! Yes, it sure is. Oh, look at that sun. That son seems so sad. He seems unsure of things. He needs to take a lesson from the commander. And this music. And just... Just relax. It's gonna be alright. The supernature takes place in a much greener area. Not much development here. In the supernature. Industry has not come. At this point in the game, we have a lot more abilities, and there are a lot more obstacles. And it's so much more jazzy. Just trying to jump right into this wouldn't work. Because you need to get acclimated to all these new abilities that the captain gets. For example, jumping slides. He can jump on his back. That's right. 
And you can see in the background, in the supernature, they're just as relaxed as they were in the Welkin Wonderland. There we go. But the background knows that really wasn't important. None of this is. Just relax and have a good time. The levels do get a lot more difficult as you keep going on. But this music really makes it all worth it. I really like the music in the Supernature. I mean, all, all the tracks in the game, really. But I keep playing the Supernature levels over again, just because I, keep, I like to keep hearing it. The commander can kick obstacles out of his way if he needs to. Like those stop sign enemies. The commander can get a little bit aggressive if he needs to be. He's not all passive. I duck, sli duck slid and missed that gold. But I can hit the enemy and go right back where Voidburger is waiting for me, I guess. I don't know what she's doing here. What happened to the pickle? I don't know. I assume the hills in the background know with their knowing stares, but they're not going to tell. No, they're not. I'm going to take the lower path this time. Yeah, you see, even though we missed that gold, we try we went back to the checkpoint, and we still got a perfect. Oh, that was way too low, but that's all right. Let's see what what else could we show? I mean, you can pretty much get the idea of what Runner Two is all about. It's just something really nice, really pleasant to play. Oh, Bigfoot's level. Let's let's meet Bigfoot. He's you know he's stomping around somewhere in the supernature. Let's see if we can see him. Commander Video just seems like a real, a real positive guy, alien, whatever he is. Not sure what he is. Does it matter? No. No, it doesn't. Oh, got a new costume. I missed that. Oh, I missed the gold and I hit an obstacle, which means I have to get that costume again. Anything I did after beginning the level... Now does not count. We use that to our advantage in the other level, where we got a perfect, even though I'd missed some gold. I got to go back and get that gold. But, sometimes it doesn't work to our advantage. Oh. It is no good. But that's alright. The chest still shows that it's open. I'm pretty sure, though, I do have to get that again and complete the level, in order for it to count as getting the costume. <laughs> missing the gold, but well, missing the gold really isn't that important, but missing those red crosses? Well, you just gotta start over again if you do that. B 
because that means that you don't hear all the music. And that's not... Ex- oh, there's Bigfoot. There is Bigfoot. He's having a good time. He likes to run, too. Oh, I was too distracted by Bigfoot. You see? That's what happens. There's a lot going on in the backgrounds of Runner 2, and sometimes you might get distracted. But it's okay. You saw the commander. He's still psyched. He's still pumped up to run, as he always is. Because he knows mistakes happen, and he knows you didn't mean it. He's still good to go. Oh, but we just got to the finish line a little bit before him. Sorry, Bigfoot. But we have to go. Commander Video has a lot on his plate, a lot to do. He has to get back to his world. Figure out how to get out of this strange place he's found himself in. This strange, much more realistic place. Before we go, maybe we should take a look at the last level that I've gotten to. So I haven't beaten this one yet, Log Out, which means that if I try it, I'll probably die a lot. But that's just fine. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll beat it, maybe I won't. Who can say? I couldn't. 25 retro challenges. Eventually, I assume I will. Or maybe I won't, again. Really doesn't matter. Now I got distracted by that red block coming at the commander. Mm. See, things do get harder. And when starting a new level, things may, oh, things may start just like this where you just keep getting hit and keep going back. The commander is apparently made of some kind of incredibly bouncy, slidey material. Some kind of Teflon rubber. But he never gets down. He never lets, he never lets himself get frustrated. No matter how many times it may happen. And it will happen a lot. It will happen many times. And you just have to figure out what it is you're doing wrong each time. Ah, there we go. Just keep trying, and eventually you'll get it. Oh, but then sometimes... You just mess up again, and you have to go back. As, but as long as you can learn from your mistakes, it's okay. Keep trying, and eventually you'll make it to the end. With no mistakes. But I'm still far away from doing that on this level. This game was released, like I said, on pretty much everything. This is the 360 version. It was also released on the PC. On the P- oh, on the PS- I thought that would bounce me higher than it did. It was released on the PS3. It was released on the Wii U. I thought I read something about a Vita version, perhaps? So, this coming out, just about everything. You get the one for the platform that you want. 
I mean, I guess probably the PC version is going to be the overall best one, as it usually is. I prob probably would have gotten that one myself, uh, but this was the first one that I actually saw. I tried out the demo, uh, which I don't think there is a demo for this on Steam. Uh, on, for, on Steam. So I just ended up buying this one without thinking about if there was a PC version. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do this level. At least not right now. Maybe eventually. But at the very least, you can see what it looks like when you're trying to figure out a level for the first time. Oh, that jump was just not high enough. Well, this might be it for this video of Runner 2, future legend of Rhythm Alien, presented by Bitrip. I really do recommend getting it. This is the most fun game I've played in quite some time. And remember, it doesn't really matter how many times you have to go back. If you get frustrated playing the game, then you're just doing it wrong. Just look at the commander. He never lets it get him down. And he never will. Every time, you just get a little bit better, get a little bit farther, and eventually you get it. See? Just like that. It was gonna happen eventually. I thought I might actually have it that time. There we go. You just keep trying, you just keep at it. While the mountains watch you in the background with their knowing smiles. And eventually, you do it. And remember, it's everything's just alright, no matter how many times it took. <laughs>